kind of comes apart after that timeout, that last maybe minute and a half, and then obviously going into overtime? Well, it was really my timeout uh, up for, and we come out of timeout and we throw the ball away. And that's kind of what triggered it, I thought. Uh, it, it gave them hope again. You know, I mean, if we come out of that possession at least shooting two, three, or free, two free throws or at least attempting a shot, it eats in the, to the clock. I mean, we didn't even eat into the clock. We threw it away trying to feed it inside. And, and then they came down and we fouled. And then the last possession before it went into overtime, I mean, I thought we, with 15 on the clock, we played as well as we could play it. And then, you know, we we lost our man, you know, at the Liddell at the at the rim, man, and he was able to dunk it and send it to overtime. And that was the that's probably the biggest possession of the, of the game. Just specifically talk about the last two the last two offensive possessions for you guys. You, you decide not to call a timeout on either one of those. What did you kind of want to see there? Did you like the idea of just letting them play it out? Just no, I mean, that had, no, that had no bearing on it. I mean, you're reaching right there. I, you know, we were up. They were up, I think, five or six at the time. When X got the, uh, the tech and took him out of the game, I thought Miller got a great look at a three that we ran full court coming up. But from that point on, we had to foul. They missed, I think, one of their free throws, but we had nothing else left. You know, nothing else left after that. I'm sorry, I meant regulation. That's my fault. Well, in regulation, again, you know, we, I mean, we, when we up four, right. we throw the ball away out of timeout. That's the biggest possession of the night, I think, because we got nothing out of it. We came down and we fouled. And you're up two with 15 seconds. You got to get a stop, and we give up a layup. Those are the two biggest possessions to me of the night. Jeff, Coach, you mentioned trying to teach these guys to win games like this um, at Wisconsin, at Syracuse. What is it that is the difference between winning these games and losing these games? I mean, you just we got to get them over the hump, man. I mean, I I wish I had the uh, the magic the magic pill to to get them over the hump right now because again, we're right there. I. I came fought effort. You know, they played hard tonight and, you know, got back in it and put ourselves in a great position. But again, you know, in winning close games, you got to do everything right. And you can't come out of a timeout up four and throw it away. And then you got to be solid. I mean, if they're going to make a shot to tie the ball game, it surely can't be a layup. And that's what happened. Yeah, obviously you're shorthand in a point guard position. Your thoughts on Xavier Johnson's decision making throughout the game and in overtime? Well, I mean, he, he, I thought he played. You know, he played well. I mean, I can't fault Xavier. I mean, you know, he was fighting. You know, pretty much the whole game. I mean, he made some good plays, some bad plays. It's a part of it. But um, you know, I, I'm not sitting here complaining about being shorthanded. I thought we competed well enough to win the game. Going on being shorthanded, how, how tough of a cover was Branham with maybe your two best defenders, Galway and Fennessy, not being able to participate well, like they did yeah, the last I mean, game? It's, it's a part of it. You know, I mean, you know, I thought Miller at one time was playing him well, but hey, he, he got away. I mean, and, and he made plays, and, you know, we, we had no answer for him. I mean, I thought early on we, we played him pretty good, but as the game wore on, I don't know if the fatigue set in or what, but he was the guy that they went to, and we couldn't we couldn't get the stops that we needed to get. Tom and Jordan. Mike, you uh, for a team that is, you know in the midst of a losing streak, you were down ten, worked their way back in the game, holding Ohio State to six points in nine minutes. I mean, can you talk a little bit about that part of the game, though, at least in getting back into it? Well, again, guys, our defense has been solid all year. I mean, it's it's put us in the position where we could possibly win games. And, you know, again, I, I'm not putting it on the players. I, As a coach, I've always put it on myself. I got to learn and help these guys get over the hump. I mean, yeah, I didn't play the last play where we gave up the layup. Or threw, I didn't throw the ball away when we were up, up four. But I got to mentally somehow get these guys to understand time score situations and being comfortable and making plays down the stretch. You know, that's how you win basketball games. Mike, um, 
this is the fifth loss in a row, and you talked just a little bit about it, but the demeanor of the team is, and you're going home to, went to play Maryland, but how, 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 do you, how, can, how do you get over the hump and, and, and mentally, mentally with these guys? Well, we, well, we were four, four losses coming into the night, George, and this team is not quitting. You know, by any means. I mean, if, if you think that, then I think you're watching the wrong game tonight. I mean, these guys came and they competed. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them, over, you know, over the hump. So, I mean, we go back now. We got Maryland, which we played them early on. And we got to go home and try to get our mojo back. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. I mean, we got to find a win somewhere. So we're feeling good about ourselves. And we'll got two days to prepare and, and see where we are from there. Okay, last question, Adam. Mike, I, I think Ohio State scored on eight of its first nine possessions in the second half to open that 11-point lead. And then the, you mentioned your defense. How did, were you able to start affecting them, uh, their offense at that point in the game to where they went so long without scoring when they've done it so well? Well, I thought, you know, I mean, we, you know, we started making catches tough. Uh, you know, they just couldn't get good looks. And, you know, they missed a couple of good, good looks at the rim, but I just thought our defense was was solid to get us back where we were able to take the lead. And I don't know if fatigue set in coming down the stretch, but we couldn't really get the stops I thought we needed to get. And that 15 seconds, don't get no bigger than that, man. I mean, I thought we had played the play as well as you could play it. We just got lost on the backside. And I had two guys leaving the, leaving the rim, and and one of the guys that was left open was Liddell. And I mean, it just when I looked at it before I came in, it was just something that shouldn't have happened. But you, know, you can blame it on fatigue or just not used to being in this position. But those that's the play you got to close out and make the young man make a tough shot over the top, not a dunk or a layup. Okay, coach. Thank you.